I'm going to cover something that uh, has a lot of people perplexed, a lot of people confused and frustrated. So um, a lot of people doing SEO work on client sites or doing SEO work on their lead gen sites say, oh, you know, I'm having a hard time. I, I did all this work and Google's not picking up these changes. The site's not indexing. These new pages aren't being found, etc., etc. Um, number one, we can't control Google ultimately. So sometimes that does happen regardless of all the good stuff we do. But uh, other people say, well, I'm going to put a YouTube video on, the, on there, which I think I even have one on this site. Right here, there's a YouTube video behind here, so that helps it to index faster. Um, but what I've been doing is going at it with Google Search Console and, and working just fine. So like as an example, I can build out a site like this. And, and then literally what I do is I'll create a Gmail account for it and then follow these, these steps. So uh, if you want to get your sites indexing, um, I literally just have a site that I, I built on Saturday. Um, had four pages on it. it, it I, did a, I created a Gmail account. I indexed and submitted a sitemap submission to, so for Google to take a picture of it, and literally it indexed overnight. And then this morning, two days later, it's on page one of Google in one of the towns of 40,000 people. So, you know, it works. Um, again, technology is fickle. It's not guaranteed, but let's go through the process. So you have your site. The first thing you're going to want to do is you want to grab your domain, and you're going to go over to, you're going to log into your Gmail account and go over to Google Search Console. And then you're going to go over, it says here this URL prefix, you're going to punch in your domain, you hit continue. It's going to check verification, which is not going to be verified. And then I always use this HTML tag option. So I'll we'll open this up, we're going to copy this code. Now we're going to go over to the website. We're going to log into the site. Uh, we're going to add new plugins. We're going to call it insert headers. You can insert headers and footers. I just type insert headers. I use this one always. So you install the plugin, you activate the plugin, and under settings, the plugin will be here. And then I'll take that code, it goes in the header section, not in the body, it goes in the header right here. And then you hit save. Done. Now we're going to go back over to here. We want to verify. So these, this all connects. Should happen right away. Yep, ownership verified, go to the property. So we're gonna go to the property. And then we're gonna close all this. And I'm gonna put it on sitemaps. And I know my sitemap with a name, so it's gonna be like sitemap.xml. Um, mine just happens to be sitemap forward slash sitemap. So you have to figure out what your sitemap is for your site. Hit submit. Got it. Got it. It couldn't fetch it, not a big deal. Sometimes I'll do it twice. There it goes. Look at that. So uh, this site's been around a little while, but it was already indexed. But the point is, that's how you do it. And then um, you can do this once a week. I mean, don't do it too often. Like uh, if you make changes to a site, you obviously back your changes up and then you come back in here. And then you can always check out other stuff as well. But that's how I do it. That's all I do. And um, I leave this on here because it's verified. I don't worry about it. Um, that's how we do that. And now you have a picture of the website submitted as of today. And that website will get picked up by Google if it hadn't been before. Hopefully it helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know.